Hello everyone, today I want to show you a rather rare, in my opinion, party which I met for the first time today and immediately hurried to shoot for you, review, show. This is not a game of some super grandmasters, but it is very interesting with its combinations, its mistakes, its variants and it started with the move E4, C5, black and white answer here, F4 play. This is a Grand Prix attack, such a debut, such an answer exists. This is a theoretical move. D6 play black, the position is absolutely equal. The knight is 3, the knight is 6, the bishop is 4, and here black should have played E6. White bishop from the field C4 should be blunted, we should try to make sure that he does not have access to point F7, because this is very important. Then you will understand what I'm talking about. But black has played e5 here and already white has a little better, but the position still seems to me to be humanly equal. This little engine writes that it's there on the floor of the pawn as if white is playing 3, closing the gate behind the bishop and opening the gate for his second blackfield bishop. The bishop is 4, black ties the knight, castling, and here black should have taken the pawn, developed the bishop by white, but then the position would have been normal. Instead, they played differently. And they play a very interesting move for castling from white. This move is the knight d4, who loses the game. That's right, you can just take it in one move, and with the sixth, friends, this is just the sixth move. What is the sixth move? Yes, of course, in chess there is a checkmate in two moves, a checkmate in three moves, but the sixth move and from a normal position you move into a lost position. So, what they wanted, strictly speaking, they wanted to put pressure on the knight, the knight is tied, to spoil the pawn structure somewhere, then it is possible to fly the queen somewhere, but they did not take into account one moment that the bishop has access to point f7 remains and the bishop beats at this point f7. Here the most accurate solution is to take the king, then the check from the horse and here it was necessary to leave. In this case, the blacks did not even go to this option, but I will show you. Here you look as if white's queen is knocked down and you can also take the knight for two light pieces, but this should also be taken into account that after taking the rook pawn and an easy figure is lost in a hidden step, as a result you are without a queen and a pawn for a knight. That is, it is a losing option. It is definitely impossible to do this and it is unlikely that I will do this with you. Instead, you can move away with a horse, then taking an elephant and developing a horse, you can just move away. This is the position that white has an extra pawn. What is the advantage of this position is that the king is not castled, he remains in the center and will be attacked. Here, after the exchange, the slot will open, another elephant will open somewhere, you can drive the horse away, develop the horse through different roads. That is, white has a game, a good game, black has to think about how to protect the king, but it was the lesser of evils. Instead, black did not take it, they went as king to the e7 field. Then the capture of the pawn, then the capture of the bishop and check here. Here, of course, you can win back, well, of course not with a queen, but there with a pawn, let's say, then the bishop is hanging. There are different options here. Let's turn on the engine here. What will the engine advise? The engine advises to even take the rook, that is, to spit on the fact that we give the quality, take it, sit down and probably hit the queen later. There will be a position where there is no quality, but the king is not injured, in the center is very weak and already here the bishop's move on the field is very dangerous. Here it is necessary, but either to leave as a king, or to close with a horse on the engine. But this is absolutely logical, because they want to fool you in every sense of the word, both literally and figuratively. Such a thing is a chess skew. Instead, the blacks went for a walk. They took friends here and there was a move with a check. The whites gave a check, they immediately shamed. The king is gone and white pushes the pawn. Here, black should have retreated to the field of c88, then the position would have been at least somehow adequate, it was possible to try to hold on, do something, but no, they went the wrong way, they retreated to the field of c6. The queen is breaking through, and the white queen cannot be taken. And what will happen if you take it? If you take the white queen, then there will be a checkmate in one move. Very beautiful design. The king is on the field of kings. Elephants are cut out, 
pawn helps and two pawns interfere. In my opinion, this is a chess beauty, one of such small chess masterpieces that you can turn out to have. You just need to be attentive, play actively, have fun, fervently and enjoy the game. I wish you to enjoy every game, even if you lose it, then try to lose beautifully. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you happiness, health and a peaceful sky over your head. Bye bye.